problem. The kind of changes that we need would increase the number of person hour to change all our infrastructure, all our cars, mm -hmm. to re revise all that. But uh, it, it is not feasible if we have a multiply of human productivity like AI or not. And we can also see that this is a solution because uh, we need to solve a lot of problems. So, where we are now, so, uh, in terms of innovation, there are basically three or six things that can uh, uh, drive uh, new products with staying in what I would call the current paradigm. Huh? So we can connect things at a very uh, low price, we can uh, recognize pattern, we can uh, uh, do some planning. And then the cost of sensors and every kind of component going down. In any field uh, where you are active, you can, if you remember this three things, you can connect, you can recognize patterns, and, and you can do some planning. The limit is your imagination. Huh? So the fact that we have robots is due to the fact that sensors are cheap and that they have force control. So it won't harm you. Huh? Here's where we are. We also have nice applications that are widely used, uh, not far from here. And really, this is something that we needed to, to remember. So it's really a matter of imagination. You need to, to, to look at our daily life activity, our working life activity, and just uh, by combination, you can do a lot of very interesting stuff. And even in agriculture. You know? So when you know that you have a problem with soil, if we, uh, if we can collect data, we can reduce the usage of water, we can uh, uh, rotate culture, so this is it. And we also have with this humanoid robot. That, uh, uh, and you may remember the dark robotics challenge uh, um, in 2015. There was some progress. And here it, we are, it, it's not so. Thank you. 